Lakota Warrior Women has a mission to honor past, present, and future women veterans. And with more on how they plan to celebrate 10 years are some of the warriors themselves. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I'm very excited to hear about your latest experience. Can you tell me a little bit about what it means to be a Lakota Warrior Woman? Well, um, it's Lakota Women Warriors. And to me, being able to carry on our mission and as a veteran status, means so much because we conti we continue our service basically uh, a lot of veterans don't have the opportunity to do that so to me being a role model for the young girls it just gives us that that satisfaction that maybe we can make a difference in one of their lives that's right and what does that kind of look like when you connect with people on that level it's a lot of um, public um, events that we do and uh, it's surprising how many people actually really gravitate uh, especially like a lot of the younger girls so it's really really meaningful for us to be able to um, be on that level to them. So. Yeah, yeah, like I know how important it is to kind of represent um, things for younger women and how special that can be. And I know what it's like to look up to women, especially in kind of male dominated industries that don't always have um, something to look, fo look forward to. So how are you guys kind of celebrating 10 years in our community and what can people look for from you guys? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's been 10 years. So we made our debut at Black Hills Powell and we look forward to that every year. And um, I actually forgot what you asked me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that's okay. I just kind of want to hear what you guys, you guys are going to be in the powwow coming up. You've got the parade coming up. Where can people kind of check you out in the community? Oh yes, we're going to be leading in the flags at the parade. And that is Saturday morning at 10 o'clock. We will be participating in the veterans grand entry at the uh, Monument Center. And there's a lot of veterans from all over South Dakota and I think even beyond. So mm -hmm. being able to be one of the, the few all women veteran groups that really gives us the, the ability to get the word out and say, hey, look, we are, we are women, we are warriors, and we are veterans. And kind of outside of the events that are coming up this weekend, how can people kind of connect with you all in the community? We're on different social media platforms, and I think that's probably one of the easiest ways to get a hold of us. Um, otherwise, it's just any local events that we're invited to. We definitely like to come out and represent. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to see you guys this weekend. I'm excited to see you guys at the powwow. This is going to be a really special occasion, and I'm excited to bring to see what you guys bring to the community in the next 10, 50 years. Even yes. it's going to be amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. And you can see us all on Good Morning Black Hills in a couple of minutes as well. Just a few channels away. We'll be right back.